to do the unboxing of this hot look summer box I think is what it's called I don't know when I, what I get inside of the box but um, yeah I'm pretty sure that's what it's called it's a hot look box that came out a few weeks ago so I'm really excited about this it actually sold out pretty quickly and I got it simp uh, through the app because it sold out on I don't know how like or what happened the site kind of did went crazy but I actually used the app and got it easily and then come to find out people who were using just the website were having massive trouble with it so that kind of sucks and I didn't know so I'm sorry about that you guys if you try to get this box it's I didn't I, I I posted on this on I did make sure that once I found out that I could get it on the app I did post on hot looks Facebook page um, that they uh, are under where people were commenting how do I get this box I did comment there saying go to the app because the app um, the app is working so I so I try to help where I could so anyways let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the hot look box Okay, this is a decent sized bag and it actually, I, I like this bag. It's a nice huge cosmetic bag, which is something I need. Okay, the first thing that I grabbed out of here is this little, little, tiny, tea, tiny um, lip gloss by Lorac. And this is in the color Peach Luster. And this is just a very super tiny sample. Great for if you have small purses or if you're going out somewhere and you just have a small purse. Ooh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. It's a very tiny, like, brush, which is cool. And it smells very fruity, or very sweet. I'm not going to say fruity. Almost like sugar is really what it smells like. It smells like sugar. The next thing in here is by Fresh, and this is Rose Face Mask with sm uh, smoothing rose petals that hydrates and tones. And that is a pretty decent sized sample of that. And let's see if it's open so I can smell it or if it has a cat nope it that is what this inside looks like and that's very it looks disgusting I'm just gonna say that but it smells like roses and deliciousness so I love the smell of rose so that's pretty cool I really do like that the next thing in here is by Living Proof, and this is Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment and this is a pretty good size sample this is a one fluid ounce sample so that's pretty cool Okay, the next thing in here is by Molten Brown London, and this is a pink um, pepper pod body wash. What's a pepper pod? It smells good, whatever it is. That smells really good. I like that a lot. I love these little samples like this. Okay, moving on. I there's this no, there's another tiny um, is Jour is that Jour? Um, then this is another lip gloss, and this is in a really pretty pink, and that is what the brush looks like or the applicator looks like it's not a brush it's actually an applicator and this doesn't smell like anything but that's okay but that is super cute and I love that color awesome I think I like the Lorac one a little better though because it's more neutral but I do like pink lip glosses the next thing in here is by Smashbox and this is a photo finish foundation primer and this is oil free so I think I've got this one in another unboxing, so don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure I have. Okay, moving right along. The next thing I see in here is by Purity Made Simple, and this is a 3-in-1 cleanser for face and eyes. And this is a 1 fluid ounce sample, so that's a pretty decent sized sample of that. Let's see if it's open and if I can smell it. It is not open, and I cannot smell it. Which is good. I like it when it's closed because I know that nobody's been in it, but oh well. Okay, the next thing in here is by, okay, not going to pronounce that one correctly, warning you ahead of time. Rosa Botanica? Did I say that right, maybe? Um, and this is, it looks like a perfume. Yes, it is. It's a nice, oh, I like that. Nice small little perfume sample. Not, it's not small. This is actually a very decent sized perfume sample. I kind of want to smell what it, let's see if we can't get that open. It looks very flowery. Oh, I love that. It's not, it's like very musky. It's not too um, powerful, but it does smell really, really nice. So there's that. Okay, the next thing in here, oh, I got this one in, was it Ipsy or Birchbox? Ipsy, I think. 
this is wish and this is <laughs> this, well it's not the same thing wish it's it's how you say it and this is body butter and this is in pomegranate I think the other one was in pomegranate too do I still have it around here I don't think I've used it yet oh and it smells so good but this is body lotion I think what I got before was a um uh, shave cream or something like that but yeah I love I this brand is smells amazing I love that the next thing in here is a small little um, mint uh, nail polish by Ciati mini and well it's by Ciati 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 I don't know how to say that properly but it's a mini nail polish and um, I love this color I love mint mint's one of my favorite colors I have a lot of mint nail polish now guys and I'm okay with that. Okay, the next thing that is in here is by Mario Badescu. Badescu? I don't know how to say that properly. And this is a Kui... 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 My mouth doesn't work sometimes. And this is Kiwi Face Scrub. I said it properly that time. Okay, so the next thing in here is by... May butcher this as well. Batiga Veneta? Um, is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. And I don't know what this is. So let's open this and find out. Oh, it looks like another fragrance. Yep, it's another fra fragrance. Or, um, perfume sample. And that smells good too. It almost smells like tea. Like, um, green tea. It smells really light and refreshing. The other one is very musky. This one's light and refreshing. So that's cool. The next thing that's in here is by Stila, and this is a lip glaze. I would love to know the color. This is Mango Berry. I feeling it's either going to be orange or purplish. Let's see. Oh, no, it's pink. And that is what it looks like. Very, very nice pink lip gloss. So there you go. Okay, the next thing in here is by Lancome, and this is uh, Regenerate. Um, lift multi action sunscreen and this is a very decent sized sample of that so that's really really awesome and then ooh I like it it's Clinique and this is a moisture surge and that's what the box looks like let's go ahead and look what is inside of here ooh I like this I know I've had I've used this before I love this stuff just a nice small sample of that. They actually give these away a lot. If you ever buy Clinique stuff at the mall or like any any um, beauty counter or anything like that, um, when they do their free gifts, they almost always give away this stuff. And I loved it. So it's pretty awesome. The last thing in here is by Septuous Infinity. Um, I think is how you say it. And this is a Daring Lengthening um, Volume Mascara. And that is what it looks like. It's a small like half size of a mass of a normal mascara. Okay, so that's all that's in the bag. Let me go ahead and t um, take a look online and see if I can't find the pricing for all of this stuff. I did pay twenty five dollars plus shipping for this box, so around thirty, I think, a little over thirty bucks for this box. So I'm pretty sure I got through over thirty bucks of worth of stuff in here. So let me go ahead and look up the pricing real quick and go through all this stuff as fast as possible. So I went to my subscription addiction and they they did the work for me. So I'm just going to go through what they have on their site and let you guys know how much I got. Okay, this lip gloss right here is valued at $9.40. This stuff is expensive if that's the case. And then the Lorac, I know this stuff is expensive and this is also valued at $9. So I mean, if it must be expensive. And then this uh, Stila lip gloss right here, um, this is valued at $13.75. So there's that. And actually, you get more or just the same amount of product in this as you do this. Because this is the, the only reason why you think you get more out of this is because of the, the way this is structured. Because most of this is actually the tubing and the brush. So that was interesting to me. The next thing I found, or the next thing that's on the site is this Wish Body Butter. And this is valued at $3.50. This, uh... Kiwi face scrub right here is valued at $2. And this amazing rose scrub right here is valued at $12. This Purity 3-in-1 cleanser is valued at $3. 
The, oop, the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer is valued at $7.50. And this um, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day right here um, sample is valued at $6.50. This Rosa Bot Botanica um, perfume sample is valued at $16. And where's the other one? And this other perfume sample right here is also valued, or not also valued, is valued at $14. This Molten Brown London Body Wash right here is valued at $3. This is by Estee Lauder. I think I said that it was by Sceptious Infinity, which is not correct. I should have looked at the labeling right here. This is Estee Lauder uh, Mascara, and this is valued at $13. And the CIT uh, mini sample right here of uh, their um, nail polish is valued at $5. This Clinique uh, Moisture Surge um, sample is valued at $5. And the Lancome um, Lift Multi-Action Sunscreen right here is valued at $28. Okay, that is all that is in there. I paid a little over $25 plus shipping, uh, um, so around $32, I think, it, or $33 is what it ended up being. Um, and this bag is worth, um, or what I got out of it was, wor was worth $150, so it was definitely worth the, um, the value. If they do come out with this box again, because the other Hot Look box, um, the lip one also sold out so it may come back i don't know i don't know how hot look works but yeah this this one sold out pretty quickly but the lip one did too so if they have extras i guess they may come out with it later i don't know so i'll keep an eye out for that i'll make sure to post if i see it again i'll make sure to post it on my twitter and my facebook and everything so make sure you guys follow me there um if you guys possibly want this box i can't guarantee it's going to be out again but i know that the lip hot look lip bag did come out two or three times before they completely got out uh, sold out of it so overall i thought this was a really good box i got over 150 dollars worth of items i got a lot of um, makeup products and I got a lot of um, perfume and a lot of like moisturizers and lotions and stuff like that. It was a really good all-around box for this one so I really enjoy I, I really enjoy these hot look boxes so um, they're doing pretty good right now so I just lowered that just because I felt like it was chopping my head off. Um, anyways, that is all I have for you for this video. If you like these videos, make sure you click the like button down below. If you have any questions for me about the hot look box or if you just want to see a one of these items reviewed or whatever you guys want, make sure you comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Also, please don't forget to subscribe because all of my subscribers are eligible for all of my giveaways, which include a free Ipsy bag I give away at the end of the month along with a free um, Lunar for you box I give away at the 12th on the 12th of every month and you have to be a subscriber to win so make sure you subscribe before you head over to my blog and sign up for those and that is all I have for you for this video and I will see you guys later bye